Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we bring you the latest and most exciting updates in the world of Linux and open source tech. Today, we have big news coming out of the Fedora camp. Fedora is officially shaking things up in a way that's going to make a lot of KDE Plasma fans very happy. Let's dive right in. So, Fedora, a name that's become synonymous with stability, cutting-edge tech, and just all-around Linux goodness, right? Since 2007, Fedora's Workstation Edition has been GNOME-focused. It's been the default desktop environment for years, and for many of us, that's how we know Fedora. But here's the twist. That's about to change. Starting with Fedora 42, KDE Plasma is no longer just a spin. It's joining GNOME as an official flagship edition for Fedora Workstation users. That's right, KDE Plasma will now have equal status alongside GNOME. How awesome is that? Now, a quick history lesson here. Back in the day, KDE Plasma was part of Fedora's flagship lineup. But after Fedora 7, GNOME became the star of the show, and KDE Plasma got its own separate spin. Fast forward to early 2024, there was a bold proposal to make KDE the default desktop for Fedora Workstation. But instead of replacing GNOME, they made a smarter move. Now, Fedora KDE Plasma gets its own flagship edition. That means it's not just a spin anymore. And look at this. When Fedora 42 launches, KDE Plasma will have a dedicated page on the Fedora website. It's going to get the same marketing push as GNOME Workstation. It's a big step forward for KDE Plasma fans and for Fedora as a whole. Now, I gotta say, I'm personally so excited about this. I've always wanted to give Fedora with KDE Plasma a proper shot, but never really took the plunge with the spin. This change might just make that decision a whole lot easier. And for folks who didn't vibe with GNOME's design, maybe you're a Windows user looking to switch to Linux, this could be the perfect time to try Fedora. KDE Plasma is known for its customization, sleek interface, and overall flexibility. So, whether you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned user, this might just be the game changer you were waiting for. So what do you think? Is Fedora KDE Plasma as an official edition a win for you? Are you team KDE or are you sticking with GNOME? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this update, subscribe for more Linux news, and ring the bell so you never miss a video. All right, that's it from me today. Catch you in the next one. Stay awesome and keep exploring Linux. Bye.